Start by finding a place to sit, a place that's comfortable, a place that you can move, but settle in. You can close your eyes and just start to feel your body soften underneath you. Start to feel the couch or the bed below you and your back. Start to notice your breath as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Loosen your jaw, loosen your belly. Just allow yourself to be here. And with each breath in, you can release with a sigh. each breath in, you can feel that light energy enter your body, that oxygen, that life force. And as it leaves your body, you can let go of whatever you don't need in this moment. And as we sit here together, I invite you to join me on an adventure, on a journey. There's an expanse around us. It's quiet. There's just yourself. Just us. And as the quiet settles in, I want you to take yourself to the ocean side you're standing, sitting on a cliff that overlooks the ocean. You can see the water below you crashing. You can smell the ocean air, salty and fresh, crisp. And you can feel the breeze moving through your hair. It's gentle, but there's a harshness there. There's a ruggedness, there's an aliveness. And as that wind licks along the ocean water and comes up the cliff and flows across your body. You can feel your skin awaken You can feel the moisture on your face and you can feel your hair moving with the wind. And as you breathe in this air, you feel that salty air move into your lungs. You can feel the taste on your tongue. You can feel a stirring in your belly. You can feel your body start to come alive, the elements, the noise of the water, the air circulating, moving around you, the sun above hitting your forehead, hitting your body, and the fire within your belly. You can feel it all and you feel alive and you feel present. We look up into the sky, to the sun, and we start to see a shadow moving across the radiant beams, the shadow of the moon. The sun is our expression of our most radiant self, our true self, our organic self. And the moon is an expression of our emotions, our reactions, the place inside of us that can be so very turbulent, but can also be so very joyous. These emotions are based on now, but are often based on the past. 
that are often based on the stories that we've woven around ourselves to protect ourselves. And so part of this time is to become curious, is to become open to the emotions that surround us, the water. To understand that our greatest freedom lies in being with these emotions and witnessing these emotions and understanding the constructs that we create around us. And as we sit on this cliff overlooking the ocean, hearing the water, allowing the ocean breeze full of its salty wetness to move across our skin and through our hair, we feel into our body and realize that we're not so different, that water pulses through our entire body, that we are moved by the moon. We are moved by the ocean side when we hear her gentle call. When we hear the ocean waves, our system responds and feels calm. We are water, we are emotion, and part of our freedom and our sight is to understand how that emotion lives in our life, how it lives in our life and how it serves us to be our brightest, greatest self. And truly, the only way to do this is to invite it in to immerse ourselves with a clear eye so we can recognize the water in our life, the depth in our life, and who we are. And from that point, seizing the radiant self, the sunshine, and making steps towards our emotional self aligning with our radiant self. This is a deep dive this can be challenging, this can be scary, but it's where the true freedom lays. And so today you look up and the sun now is almost blocked. The emotional moon is moving across the radiant self and there's time now for integration. So you stand up You look out onto the horizon. You take one breath in and you exhale. And you look down below at what seems to be the stormy, rocky water. But you know that there's depths below. You know that there's something below. And you know that the time is now. And with one foot forward, you leap. And as you feel your body enter the air, you suddenly become weightless. It's like you've been suspended in gravity is no longer a force. Your hair is bold. Your heart is racing. But as you start to float down to the stormy surface, you realize that the water is parting ways, almost like a door opening, allowing you to gently gracefully enter the watery environment. And as you move into the water, you feel it gently cover your body. You can taste the salt. You can feel your hair. 
As you swim deeper, your clothes start to shed. There's just you and the water. Beautiful light coming from above, fragmented by the blue waves, in contrast to the depths below, the darkness and the light coming together in this beautiful mosaic in front of you. And as you stay here suspended in this water and this light, you realize that you can breathe and that your fears of the unknown, your fears of the stormy weather, your fears of the inhospitable outcomes, that none of it was true. And that rather below these stormy surfaces, what you found is peace. What you found is calm. And as you look around and marvel at the dancing light, and the fluid sense of water surrounding your body and the calm, you see that it was always here. You continue to swim deeper, further, faster. You can feel your arms loose beside you. You can feel your spine supple as you kick gently through the blue water. And so you let the current pulse through your body. You let the water surround, caress your skin, your hair suspended, your body light. Beyond the stormy surface, it feels quite calm. And it is here that we find ourselves and that we find our freedom. slowly, so gently, crack your eyes open and bring yourself to your feet. Stand tall, feel the music as it moves through your spine, feel the music as it moves your body. You're soft, you're supple, you're free, dancing, moving, smiling, smiling. 